Well, RV owners in Temple filed claims to Encore after power lines continue to fall on their RVs. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander visited the RV park and heard from Encore on what's being done to resolve this dangerous problem. Here's her report. Chris, when the wind blows hard, power lines go down, and that's what's frustrating residents here at Lucky's RV Park. Some RV owners did file claims with Encore to resolve the issue, but the response from Encore was not what they expected. Days after sending claims to Encore expressing their concerns of downed power lines, RV owners got a letter saying their RVs are parked in a utility easement. Now residents have 14 days to park their RVs somewhere else or face legal consequences. We were told to park there, the damage was done, but and you know, we were declined and had to turn it into our insurance and have been out money. RV owners have paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix damages these power lines have caused. They quoted us $13,721.09 just to fix the roof and the awning. That's not him replacing the awnings, the slide cover awnings, that's just refabricating. So it would be even more if we would actually replace the whole thing like, like it should be. Encore says they have found no evidence of negligence or fault on their part and have denied nearly all claims from RV owners. We should not have had to file an insurance claim. So going forward, we've got that insurance claim on our, our insurance, and we're out money for our deductible. I mean, I'm not asking for any big money. All I want is to be reimbursed what I'm out. The people in the community just want Encore to take some accountability for the damages and costs to move. Encore hopes to reach an amicable solution. With it being a big company, like it, they should be held accountable. RV owners I spoke to today told me they have seek legal help to somehow get their money back, but the response is their lawyers do not want to get involved with any legal battle with the Encore company. In Temple, Adriana Alexander, 6 News. Encore spokesperson Carrie Dunn told 6 News they had reportedly told the repeatedly rather told the park owner that parking RVs in this location is a violation of the easement. Still, the project to replace the lines in this area is still moving forward and does remain a priority for Encore. We'll keep you updated. 